Hi, I'm John Walker, Field Systems Coordinator for Roof Extender. Today we're completing Built Up Roof Detail BUR AC1 Seam Repair. This detail is designed to seal pipes, plumbing vents, and other penetrations using Roof Extender 705 acrylic roof sealant and a reinforcing membrane. The first and most important consideration when working on the roof is safety. Always follow OSHA and local regulatory requirements when climbing ladders and working on roofs. Be sure to use all appropriate protection equipment as required. Another important item in planning your work is weather. Weather can affect the safety, installation, curing, and ultimate performance of the products being used. Roof Extender Detail BUR AC1 uses acrylic-based products and requires the following weather conditions and application rates for proper installation. Ambient air and surface temperatures must be above 50 degrees and rising. No rain or precipitation for 24 to 48 hours depending on temperatures. Roof extender number 705 acrylic sealant is recommended to be applied at 25 square feet per gallon. Initial cure time is approximately 4 hours at 70 degrees and 50% relative humidity. Note, thick application, higher humidity, shade, poor airflow, and low temperatures will increase cure times. Again, always check forecasts and monitor weather conditions to ensure you stay within appropriate application guidelines. The last item of planning before starting work is to secure the tools and materials required for the detail. In this case, you will need the following items. Gloves, safety glasses, a pair of scissors or a utility knife and cutting board, a chip brush or round nose trowel, roof extender number 705 acrylic roof patch, and 483 polyester reinforcing fabric. Now for the fun part, time to get hands on. As you can see, we are looking at a field seam on a granular modified membrane that must be made 100% watertight. Penetrations, roof curbs, seams, and other details typically account for 80% of roof leaks. So it is extremely important to properly seal and reinforce all of these locations. On this detail, we will be using a three-course method. Always ensure surface area is clean and properly prepared when performing standalone maintenance repairs. Use masking tape when performing standalone repairs and the completed repair will look as good as it will perform. In these situations, tape out the area before starting the job. It will make a big difference in the appearance and demonstrate the quality of your company's work. On the other hand, if a coating will be installed after you have completed all of the required work, it isn't necessary to tape off repairs before starting. The next step in BUR AC1 seam repair is to apply roof extender number 705 acrylic roof patch approximately 1 8 inch thick. Sealant should extend a minimum of 2 to 4 inches past the repair in all directions. Note, this will vary depending on specific applications or penetration. Next, measure and cut a piece of 483 reinforcing fabric and embed it into the first layer of sealant. Starting on one end, brush the fabric into the sealant eliminating all blisters, buckles, and fish mouths. The fabric should be completely embedded into the wet sealant and should form a smooth layer. Lastly, apply a second coat of Roof Extender 705 on top of the fabric, sandwiching the fabric in the middle. In cases where you applied masking tape, you can now remove the tape. Your detail is now complete and you can be assured of top quality and lasting performance. 